Hello class and welcome to this video lecture for English 101. Sorry class was canceled today, but we will be back in class tomorrow for some thesis statement revision and outline writing. In order to help you pick which outline you want to use for this essay, I just want to briefly talk about both of your options so you have a good idea of what would best fit your style of writing. So if you look in the modules tab on Canvas, you'll see that there are two outline options. Uh, the first one we're going to look at. This one is designed if you want a bunch of little paragraphs, you don't feel comfortable with the really big long paragraphs, so you want to break things up a little bit more in your essay. Um, we know with every essay we start with an introductory paragraph, we start with a hook, we want something that's going to engage our reader, grab their attention, and make them want to read the rest of the essay. Then we give the context in our summary. So for the context, you'll be giving the author's name, the title of the uh, book, and any references to the PowerPoints you want to use or outside research that you found. You're going to want to make sure and give some background information for your reader here. Then we're going to give a brief nod to what we think is the message or the gist of the three chapters. And then we're going to boil down to that most narrow, most specific idea, which is our thesis statement here. And uh, you have a thesis worksheet also in the modules tab in the summary folder that's going to help you create a really concise thesis statement that incorporates the gist of Joseph Campbell's first three chapters. So the introductory paragraph will be very similar in both of these outlines. Where they start to deviate is in the body paragraphs. In this particular one, uh, the body paragraphs are organized around each subchapter. So if you wanted to write one paragraph for 1.1, one paragraph for 1.2, one paragraph for 1.3, so on and so forth. Um, this is if you want to really give a lot of examples and you don't feel comfortable with the really long paragraph format. Um, this might be a better option for you. So we start every paragraph with a topic sentence. Think of this as the baby thesis of the paragraph. It should outline which subchapter you're talking about and some of the big ideas. Then we get into those big ideas um, talking about the key ideas. We pull in quotes and examples from the text and then we talk about the gist and transition into the next paragraph. You'll do that for each body paragraph in each subchapter if this is the outline you choose. So for example, body paragraph 1 would be all about chapter 1.1, body paragraph 2 would be all about chapter 1.2, body paragraph 3, chapter 1.3, and so on and so forth. You'll do that until you cover all of the subchapters of all three chapters of Joseph Campbell's text. And then you want to have a nice summary paragraph at the end that kind of wraps up what you think those big ideas are. So we want to highlight uh, the gist of each of the three chapters um, and help our reader understand how all of those ideas tie together. And then we would end this essay with a conclusion paragraph, which would restate a thesis statement, very brief summary of the text. And then this is the only part of the essay where your personal opinion gets to come into play. You can um, briefly say whether you think the author was effective in conveying his message, um, if you thought the support Campbell used was effective, and then we want to leave the reader something to think about. So we have a call to action or we have a big idea, something that really makes our reader go, hmm, at the end of the essay. So this is option number one. Our second option uh, follows more closely the paragraphs that you've been writing in class. So this may be something that you're a little bit more comfortable with, as long as you don't mind having real big, long paragraphs. So you'll see with the sample outline option two, we also have an introductory paragraph, covers the same things as that first paragraph of the other outline did. You want to have a hook, you need to have context, talk a little bit about what you think the message or the gist of the chapters are, and then we have a thesis statement that's very clear and concise. Then we move on to our body paragraphs. The first body paragraph will be a summary of chapter one. So you're going to have a topic sentence. That's the mini thesis. Then you're going to have your key ideas, one per subchapter. So this would be a very long paragraph because you have to have um, subchapter 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, etc. all um, outlined in this paragraph. You're going to support each key idea either with a very short quote or a very short example then you want to communicate the gist of all of chapter one uh, in a sentence before you transition to the next paragraph. You're going to do that for body paragraph number two. That one's going to be all about chapter two. Body paragraph three will be all about chapter three. Body paragraph 
four, you're going to talk about uh, the three chapters as a whole, how the ideas work together, how they support each other in that idea of the hero's journey. And then once again, we wrap up our essay with the conclusion, with the restated thesis, was the author effective, um, support whether you think they're effective or not, and then leave the reader with that big idea. So these are the two outline options you can choose from. We'll be talking uh, more about thesis statements tomorrow, so make sure that you finish that thesis statement worksheet and bring that to class tomorrow. Uh, we'll be revising thesis statements tomorrow, we'll be writing our outlines tomorrow, and I will be giving um, some information on MLA format and style tomorrow as well. So I look forward to seeing you then. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me an email or message me through Canvas, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.